morning, boys and girls. Today is Monday. Um, and if you remember, last week we wrote our paragraphs for the first picture of our bird building the nest, our second picture of the bird laying the eggs. And today we're going to write our third paragraph. So today's Monday and you're going to write your third paragraph for our picture where the babies have hatched and there's three baby birds in the nest and we said their mouths their beaks were open that it looked like they were hungry okay so we're going to take our keyword outline and yours could look a little bit different than mine and that is fine and you're going to turn them into sentences now remember this is your story so you can go off your keyword outline and add your details and names and things that you would like to put in there so i have La from last week, you would have a checklist. Now you should have one and two all completed, all your dress ups, your indent, your capitals, and your end marks. And we're gonna go on the third one now, okay? The third paragraph. So let's go through and think of ideas of ways we can add an L-Y adverb. And an L-Y goes in front of the verb. So we could say, patiently, she waited two weeks she patiently she sat or protected the eggs for two weeks until they hatched. Maybe you want to describe how the bird was um, using an L-Y to describe how the bird um, waited for those two weeks. We have a who which clause we need. One thing I thought of is babies. The babies who were hungry like to chirp. The babies who were hungry chirped a lot. Okay. A uh, strong verb. You could use, again, about how the mom and dad take turns sitting on the nest. We came up with a word bank last week for sit. You could say rested, protected. You could say the mom and dad took turns protecting the babies, okay? So they would stay in the nest. They're not maybe sitting on them anymore, but you could say that they protected the babies um, and stayed with them in the nest. Um, because clause, okay? You could say the mom and dad brought worms and insects to the babies because they were hungry. A quality adjective, a word describing. You could maybe describe the babies. Three cute, three handsome. Um, you could describe the worms. They brought delightful worms because the birds were very hungry. So an adjective is describing. A verb is an action word that they're doing. Um, and the L-Y you can often put in front of a verb of how are they doing that, okay? And then the www.asia is the when, while, where, as, since, if, although, okay? And so when the mom flies out to get food, the dad stays with the babies, okay? So you can use one of those words in your sentence. Um, to make a clause there, and that's the www.asia, okay? So when you're writing, I included a new page. I want you to make sure you use your three-finger indent. And remember, our topic sentence is what we're seeing, and we end with a clincher. They should repeat or reflect two or three words. Watch your capitals, whether that letter goes up to the top line or not in the middle of a sentence, okay? So you're going to go all through, write your third one. And on Wednesday, we'll come on again, and I'm gonna go through how to complete the rest of our checklist, okay? So don't do anything with like a title or the picture. We're gonna do all of that on Wednesday. Today, what I want you to do is I want you to turn your keyword outline for your third picture into a paragraph, into the story on the next page I gave you, okay? Have fun, I can't wait to read your stories because I love reading all the creative things that you add into them, okay? So have fun today, and we'll see you on Wednesday.